Hi there, this is uh, <coughs> Srikant Dasari. So in this uh, tutorial, uh, we are going to learn about uh, how to link uh, to a specific uh, section or a bookmark uh, in another page. Okay. So in the last uh, uh, lessons uh, in our HTML series uh, in my tutorial channel, we have uh, learned about how to make uh, bookmarks uh, within a page and uh, so if we want to uh, target a bookmark in another page so we will learn how to do that okay so first and foremost i have uh, created a project here uh, known as uh, html hyper demo 4 and i just had a small index.html page okay so if you run this uh, page uh, nothing excited happens here uh, just it displays uh, a blank html dot uh, html file okay so here i am using a uh, uh, netbeans uh, which is uh, chrome is uh, uh, connected to this netbeans uh, id so whatever the changes i make here it's automatically reflected in that uh, uh, chrome page there okay so just i am having a, i'm just having a title here uh, i'm saying it as books home page okay so just kept a title here so title has appeared in our uh, web page here okay so here the idea is um, so i have i will create another uh, web page here okay so uh, let me say that uh, let me take another html file here uh, let me say that as uh, book one uh, dot html okay so book one dot html so here the idea is uh, so here the user uh, or the programmer uh, or uh, is creating a number of books here okay so here uh, so i have i just have a book one dot html and this book one has so many uh, chapters okay and each and every chapter will have a bookmark so from that index dot html page we will directly jump to this uh, book one uh, particular uh, uh, bookmark in this book one dot HTML. Okay, so for that, uh, let me uh, clear everything here. All the meta tags and all uh, not quite useful for us at this uh, stage. So I'm just uh, taking it off. Okay, so I'm just keeping the title as book one. So imagine that there is an author who is writing uh, books and so on and so forth. Okay, so head uh, element is being closed here. Okay, title we have missed the title closing title here. Okay, so here, uh, so I'm just putting a uh, heading h1 or first let me have uh, title here let me say book one okay so just putting a heading here okay so book one and let me uh, align that uh, to center here okay so for that let me use this uh, style attribute here so style is equal to so style is equal to uh, text hyphen uh, align center okay so i'm just using a cls css uh, property uh, using the center as a value so if you go back to your uh, uh, chrome nothing happens here uh, just let me come out of the full screen here okay so if you go back to your uh, chrome nothing excited happen here happened here because uh, so if you if you make a link of this page in that index.html then you can uh, navigate from here to, uh, to there here okay so further i am uh, using an href here so a href is equal to uh, so a href is equal to so automatically uh, our uh, book one dot html will show up here okay so book one dot html and let me close that anchor tag and uh, let me say that book one i just made a bookmark here okay so go back to your uh, chrome okay so if you go back to your uh, chrome here so i have just made a, a book one uh, bookmark here okay so if you click on that bookmark uh, nothing happens here uh, it just uh, navigates to the another uh, web page which is uh, book one dot html okay so we come back to your uh, book one dot html so let us uh, make some change here uh, let us uh, say something like this let us make the body color or bg color so bg color it's not a good practice to use uh, bg color uh, we need to change the background color using uh, so let me say pink or something like this okay so pink or something like this let me close the thing Okay, so if you go back to your uh, page, the pink has been changed here. So if you navigate from here to here, so you might uh, get the feel of the change that page has been changed. Okay, so now here what I'm doing is uh, let me take another H1 uh, tag. Okay, so let me uh, fill the page with a huge content here. Okay, so here uh, chapter one, and let me take a paragraph here. Uh, let me put some uh, dummy text here because uh, basically i'm not a writer uh, so let me i don't write books here uh, so for that purpose i'm just uh, taking a, uh, 
a lorem ipsum uh, text okay so just to fill fill up uh, the web page with the huge content so that we can uh, we could make some uh, bookmarks here okay so if you go to uh, wikipedia or something like this so get this tummy text of lorem ipsum so which is very uh, quite commonly used in uh, web site development to have that dummy content here just have uh, copied that content and come back to your uh, chrome so let me uh, paste it a couple of uh, times such that uh, you get the feel of uh, something has been written here okay so if we go back to your uh, uh, html page and if click on the book one so here you get okay the chapter one there is some full whole lot of uh, content here okay so in that way uh, let us uh, so fill up this html page so let me take another uh, h1 tag let me say something like this chapter 2 or something like this and let me put another uh, paragraph tag here put another paragraph tag and uh, keep on uh, filling a couple of times here okay so like this uh, i would uh, make up to 10 chapters here okay so h1 uh, let me say uh, chapter 3 okay so for uh, five or six chapters we'll have such that uh, you get the real feeling of uh, the bookmark uh, this is jumping from uh, top to bottom like this okay so chapter 3 is done and let us have another h1 here for chapter 4 so chapter 4 it has let us have the paragraph once again so paragraph tag to just put the dummy content here okay so let's chapter 4 we are done with chapter 4 and let's let us have another h1 let us see so chapter 5 let us, let us have the paragraph tag once again here let's put the dummy content once again a couple of times chapter 5 is the end of chapter 5 and let us have chapter 6 chapter 6 let us have this paragraph once again we paste it a couple of times okay so we had enough with the uh, copy paste and so if you observe here uh, the chrome automatically uh, synchronizes with my netbeans uh, code whatever whatever i'm updating here okay so we go back to your the original home page here and if you click on the uh, book one icon so what happens is automatically it uh, takes you that page and it has got some dummy content here okay so if you want to uh, navigate directly to chapter six okay so you can make a bookmark of this in that home page somewhere around here okay so for that purpose uh, let me uh, make a bookmark here okay so if i go to my uh, netbeans here so go, go to my index.html so before that uh, let me uh, say that in this uh, h1 so we need to make an id here okay so we are going to that uh, id we are going to use that id uh, in in our bookmark okay so i just made an id of uh, h6 here okay so for this uh, id we are going to make a bookmark in our index.html okay so let us uh, take a br tag here and let us uh, make some body color for this also it's not it's not, let us make it as yellow or something like this bg color is equal to yellow it's not a good practice to use all these things let us uh, make this also a line so style is equal to text hyphen align center <coughs> since that is the title okay okay so let us uh, also make the text size also text hyphen size let us increase the size also is equal to let us make it as some um, uh, so text hyphen size is equal to some 400 percent or something like this so quotations and uh, that's it semicolon okay so go back to your uh, page here uh, if you reload it once again didn't get affected here okay so 400 uh, percent must be within the quotations here okay so text type and size is equal to second
okay so just made a mistake here uh, i have used text hyphen size when it is a font hyphen size here okay so made a small mistake here okay so you need to be very careful about the css properties and their uh, values while uh, writing uh, within the inline uh, uh, in html inline uh, within the tags with our html okay so uh, we have just increased the size to 400 percent we have just aligned the uh, text to uh, center here to make to, to make a small difference here okay so if we click on the book one it automatically uh, navigates to that page but if i want it to go directly to the sixth uh, chapter so for that purpose i need to make a link here or make a bookmark in the home page here okay so for that purpose let me go to that uh, home page once again so here i'm making an anchor tag a href is equal to a href is equal to so if i say automatically is equal to uh, it is showing a uh, book one dot html automatically so book one dot html hash c6 okay so c6 because uh, there we have taken uh, there we have taken the c6 as id uh, for that chapter 6 here okay so book 1 chap 6 okay that's what i'm using here uh, as a bookmark here so if you go back to your uh, uh, chrome so automatically the link has been appeared here okay so if you click on that link so automatically it uh, jumps back to the chapter 6 here okay so in the same way uh, so if you want uh, a bookmark uh, for chapter 4 uh, you can make uh, that also so if you take uh, something like this br and if you take another uh, a href a href is equal to uh, book one dot a href is equal to book one dot html let me say book one dot html and let me say that hash c4 okay so we will make that id also available there uh, let me say uh, book one chap 4 okay so book one and chap 4 here okay so uh, so go back to that uh, book one dot page and if you navigate to the fourth chapter and let me let us make uh, the id as c4 okay so id is equal to c4 okay so here we have uh, you have an id of c4 and uh, using based on that id you have uh, created a bookmark here using a href to that particular uh, section here okay so if you save everything and if you go back to your uh, chrome uh, the link automatically appears here go back to your uh, chrome if you reload the page so you, here you have the link for book one chapter four if you click on that so automatically it takes you to the chapter four section okay so this is the way uh, so uh, this is the way so you can create as many as books you can uh, in subsequent pages and you can um, have your bookmarks and directly it jumps to that uh, page automatically okay so here uh, the first bookmark uh, it jumps to chapter six here and the second bookmark i have made here for uh, chapter four and book one or something like this okay so hope this tutorial helped you uh, so please put your uh, valuable feedback in the form of uh, comments so see you in the next lesson Goodbye.